definitely 2017 would be a thrilling year for RPA. Most of the companies have started using RPA in last couple of years, but now the adoption level is going higher. So RPA is being talked about everywhere, in every back office, middle office, in front of his operation. So we will see RPA happening quite a bit. And most of the consulting companies and also the internal, consul internal consulting companies have started realigning their teams towards RPA. So we will see an action towards uh, RPA. And I have a firm belief, like most of the, my previous clients who have tried and doing a POC in one area in RPA, now they have got more maturity and confidence in RPA and they are leveraging the technology and the solution towards other enterprise-wide deployment. So it will be a good year, definitely, very rewarding. The widespread deployment of RPA definitely carries a risk of realigning the skill set of human workforce. Definitely we can plan something for the current human workforce for the high value added task. But doing it in a big bang approach, it would be always a challenge. And definitely when we deploy a widespread RPA, the kind of capability and skill set we require is that scarcity at the moment. So we need to do, go in a sequential way where we deploy RPA, we have some learnings and we reuse those learnings for a better deployment in the future state for the possible journeys we have in mind. For the risk event, especially for the companies which I look up to, there are companies which have been trying RPA which are smaller ones. The, big, the bigger setups have developed the center of excellence in RPA and the process transformation. So they can always play around with their systems and processes. But the challenge is a smaller setup, a smaller company which is working, uh, which is operating with a 300 FTE workforce. When they talk about RPA, and RPA ensures a benefit of let's say 0.8 FTE or 5 FTE, that's a big range, whether it's, whether it's workable or not. So the challenge comes for those companies. So RPA is a solution for all the size of the companies, not only one, uh, bigger names in the market. So I am sure that how a smaller company can make use of RPA and get benefited, that's a big question in my mind. Definitely, see, it's a journey. I'll be happy to answer a question about AI after we have done RPA, but it's a journey which starts from a internal process analyzation. Once we have done it and we have some maturity to adopt RPA, then we move towards machine learning where the systems themselves behave in a deep learning algorithm and it suggests you a better possible solution. And once we have achieved that level of maturity, then we can make a move to artificial intelligence. That would be a further bigger step towards automation. So definitely it will come into play, but the companies need to get some maturity still around RPA and machine learning before we hit the AI at the bottom. See, that's a very wonderful question. When we started RPA for any of our clients, initially, the staff was afraid and fearful. They were having a reluctance in how RPA will come into play, what benefit they will achieve. But when we have delivered the proof of concept and they have seen the success, definitely now everyone has become our ally and they want to deploy RPA in different functions. So one function did very well, now the remaining functions in any department, they want to replicate the success. So it's happening very well. I think the event is very brilliantly executed and very well organized. And the planning for the event was started, has been started much before. So it has, done, it has gone very well into play. I have been able to interact with a lot of senior folks since morning who have came here from different locations, who have done RPA, 
at a very big level. So definitely it's a good, good platform for me and for anyone to share experience and to learn from each other that what we can do rightly and what we can learn from others' mistakes. So I think rather than burning my own fingers, I'm learning from everyone else. That's a very good thing in itself and I really appreciate it. And uh, I'm really honored to be part of the event.